Hi, my name is Martin Talks. I'm the Global Digital Lead at Draft FCB. So LOMO stands for Social, Local and Mobile. And really what it's trying to say is when you put the three together, what's the big opportunity? And I think it is that you know, you know who people are, you know what they're interested in, that's the social part. You know where they are, so you know exactly at the point they're going to, what matters to them at that point. And mobile allows you to deliver that. So if you put all the three together, you get a lot of interesting relevancy and you can turn people from just being a customer to actually an individual and provide them with a very relevant experience. I think that's why people are getting quite excited about what Solomo means. It's good for brands to have a direct relationship with their customers. I mean, in, a lot of social media is about authentic voice, being genuine and having a, a relationship. And you can't really do that through a third party. You need, you need to have that directly. So I think what, br what brands really need is, is a lot of, a bit of tutoring, a bit of training, a bit of education to how to do that. So I think there's a role there. But really where I think agencies really add value is content production because uh, unless you've got something interesting to, to add to a conversation, you know, you could be just like this strange guy in a conversation who doesn't really say a lot, which is a sort of embarrassing position to be in, say, socially gauche. Yeah. So, uh, it's, it, you know, they can produce content. I think the other thing, really important thing they need to do, though, is also work out how it all fits together for the brand. So, um, uh, social isn't a, isn't a silo, isn't an isolation. It needs to work with all the other different channels and all the different mediums so that everything works together. You know, everything's uh, CRM these days. You know, everything joins together and it's all about how you make everything work together. And that's a role agencies are well placed to help with. I think there's two sort of mindsets I'd always say. You know, there's two things people want to do on a mobile. They want to save time or they want to waste time. And I think most brands can think of ways to help people waste time. <laughs> I have no doubt about that. Uh, and maybe they can add the bit about uh, saving time too. So uh, I, think, I think I'm pretty sure, pretty sure we're near the year of the mobile. I think that is a challenge, uh, and, and different brands are taking different approaches to that. Uh, I mean, Oreo is one of our clients. It has 23 million fans on Facebook. So it's one of the three big, uh, big accounts on, on Facebook. But uh, they've taken a global approach. Others have taken a very local approach uh, and maybe linked it together with some sort of global overview. Uh, I think it is a real challenge. I mean, just looking at social media and Facebook in particular, um, it's, it's something like engagement is like 30 times better on a local level than it is on a global level. So I think local is really, really important. And in order to take advantage of local, you really need to know the language, not just the language as in you know, Portuguese, Spanish, whatever, but you know, how people communicate and what they want to say. And frankly, new languages are being made up on the internet with uh, crazy lol cats and all these things. So uh, I, I think, I think about, it's about relevancy and, and, and localization is part of that relevancy. So uh, it is a challenge, but I think brands need to work really hard at that, not just try and impose some sort of global view on things. I have a 19-year-old and a 17-year-old kid, so uh, I, I sort of can see their mindsets. Obviously, they wouldn't take any advice from their dad. That would be far too, <laughs> that would be too late, wouldn't it? But uh, I think uh, what I am seeing, uh, what, what I would suggest is that people really get to, know the, get to know the technology in terms of understand the basis of it, because everything is, is sort of going digital and understanding the basis of technology gives one a basis for understanding it. We don't all need to be coders, but we do need to understand the technology. Uh, it's not all about the technology, it's about the customer experience and it's about what people want to do with that technology. But that's where a lot of the exciting developments are coming from. A lot of the opportunities for creativity are being generated out of technology. I mean, we've seen Siri on the mobile phone with the iPhone 4S, like a personal assistant. You speak into the phone and it gives you directions to the nearest thing because it knows where you are. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. You know, we're going to have people use phones for augmented reality and they hold their phone up and wave it around and see things. Well, there are contact lenses that have been developed in America right now that will deliver that straight to your eyeball with a contact lens. So, I mean, that's the sort of direction we're going. There are cars that drive themselves. There are uh, all these crazy things, 3D printers happening, which can just tr effectively uh, send an object from one place to another right across the world by just reducing it to a software and then printing it out the other side in, in 3D and solid. Um, these are exciting developments and they're only getting faster. So. 18-year-old, I would be saying to them, technology, understand it, change is going to happen fast. It's a really exciting opportunity for everyone. Uh, and so uh, get experimenting, get trying things.